an antidiuretic hormone, also known as arginine vasopressin. Uh, so, first off, uh, osmoreceptors in the hypothalamus sense uh, a low volume of water and blood uh, past a certain threshold. So, not any uh, fluctuation in the volume of blood, but has to pass a, a certain threshold. Once that threshold has been passed, the posterior pituitary gland releases uh, ADH. And here you can see where the posterior pituitary gland is located. It's right under the hypothalamus, and it's the back portion, uh, back portion of the uh, pituitary gland. So yeah, it, that that uh, that posterior pituitary gland creates and releases ADH, which then travels to the kidneys and binds to V2 receptors in the nephron, which happen to be very concentrated on the collecting duct and the distal convoluted tubule membranes. Uh, and those happen to be the places where uh, water is reabsorbed uh, as a result of ADH. So usually people don't learn about the V2 receptors, but that's the reason why ADH works on those parts of the nephron. Um, so once ADH binds to a V2 receptor, aquaporins, or water channels, are inserted into the membrane through exocytosis of vesicles. And basically, aquaporins are um, channels for osmosis. You've probably learned about the sodium uh, channels or whatever, uh, potassium channels. This is pretty much the same thing, except it's a different name, aquaporin, and what goes through it is water, not anything else. Um, so because there are more aquaporins in the membrane, uh, more water will leave the collecting duct and distal convoluted tubule and go back into the blood. More water will be reabsorbed. Uh, as a result, there's less water in the urine and a lot more solutes. Uh, so your urine's probably going to not be as clear. It's going to be much darker, brown, greenish. Uh, and yeah, so water is conserved and uh, once the osmoreceptors detect that uh, the water prob the water is no longer a problem, the levels of ADH go back to normal. Uh, so here's a, a picture of the antidiuretic hormone. As you can see, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine amino acids. So you know it's a pretty pretty simple protein. And here's a little cartoon of Lawrence of Arabia in the desert saying, "Thank goodness we have ADH because without ADH." your body would release the same amount of water uh, regardless of how much you needed or how much was present in the blood.